this brings us to an important area of brain that is Broca's area and Wernicke's area. Let's say somebody says Aishwarya Rai, right? Your it, it goes through your ear and your primary auditory area listens it. After it has done that, it will send a signal to Wernicke's area, which is also called sensory speech area. It interprets and understands the word Aishwarya Rai, and now you know what is that, right? Then. It will send a signal to Broca's area which will help us to form word which we want to speak and respond to that stimuli. After it has done that, it will send a signal to motor cortex which will allow appropriate movement of lip, tongue and larynx and you will say wow. So it all, be so it all began with Ashwara Rai and ended up in wow. A lesion in Wernicke's area will result in sensory aphasia and lesion in Broca's area will result in motor aphasia. Let's solve some of the MCQs. Uh, for attention and concentration you have frontal lobe, kluver bucy syndrome, which of the following is not a characteristic. Hypersexuality, hypermetamorphopsia and placidity are the characteristic. Animal is not hyperactive. Which of the following is not true about sham rage? It is not abolished by decortication. It is actually produced by decortication. You separate cerebral cortex and your brainstem. Uh, that animal will have sham rage. Broca's area is concerned with word formation. Cortical representation of body in cerebrum is vertical, right? And the lateral geniculate body L4 lateral L4 light and for visual pathway for color vision shape and fine details of an object.